Yes. Day number uh, 30, section Delta Pacific Crest Trail here in California. I'm here with Special K. Hello, from how are you? Colorado. From the great state of Colorado, the Rocky Mountain State people. And she has made a discovery, which uh, yeah, if you follow her trekking pole, what, what's out there? What did you find? What do you see? Tell us all about it. It would be Mount Whitney. As the flow, flow cries, the cry, <laughs> <laughs> as the crow flies, 150 miles north. 150 miles as the crow flies. I don't know if you can, here, I'm gonna um, bring everybody out to see it. It's way out there. It almost looks like a cloud in the distance, but uh, it's the second lowest point out there. And Mount Whitney, what's significant about Mount Whitney? It is our first 14er. It's our first 14er. <laughs> it's the highest point in the lower 48. Oh yes, we did make that yeah. decision, even um, though he's angry about I it. I am bitter about it. <laughs> Anybody from the Northwest knows that Mount Rainier is the proper, it should hold the title, but unfortunately Mount Whitney does. <laughs> and uh, here's U-Turn making his way through. The Sierras are out there. Mount Whitney right Mount there. Mount Whitney. See out the, in the distance. See the two it's our white first sighting. That look like clouds? Right. One on the left is Mount Whitney. So although it's 152 miles away by crow, or as the flow cries, it's actually a 300 mile walk for us because we have to go westward and then take a hard right to go north to find it. But here it is out in the distance. Here on the mighty Pacific Crest Trail, day number 30, section Delta, California, 2018.